<laughs> hi everybody, hi. I thought I was going to do something about the Rakusu to show you what to do. Actually to show you what I do. Because I think many people have many ways of doing it anyway. Um, a Rakusu is a cloth, as you know, a piece of cloth with a front and a back. On the back you've got the stamps, you've got um, a calligraphy of the teacher and on the front you've got uh, the pattern of the kesa and um, you hang it around your shoulders. So first of all, when to wear the rakusu? Well, any time really, any time you wish. The rakusu is not just for sitting. The rakusu may be um, with you when, you when you do physical work, when you study, when you have a cup of coffee or tea, when uh, you go out. But of course it's not something to show people, it's not something to shock people. So sometimes you might just have it folded in its little bag, in your bag, but it should actually always travel with you. The Rakusu is a reminder of the practice. So when you are with the Rakusu, having the Rakusu around you, your manners and the way you act might be slightly different. It will positively influence the way you behave with others and you behave yourself. Um, of course, the Kesa, the big, big version of, of the Rakusu, which is big, big, squarish thing you wear on the, on the left shoulder, is just for Zazen. But so, the Rakusu is really is, you can, you can wear it all the time, but in, in your particular case, you might be willing to wear it for Zazen. So there's just one Zazen when you never wear it. It's during Zazen Kai, when you do one, two or three or four days during Seshin practice. Um, the first Zazen of the morning, we don't wear it. We just have it close, could be in your sleeve or next to your knee. And at the end of the first Zazen, you take it out of the bag and you put it with a stamp here up on your head and you sing the Sutra of the Kesa either in English, in Japanese, in Spanish, French, or any kind of tree, flower, or fish language you like. But that sutra is, is extremely important because when Dogen was in China, he really he was sitting there in his huge temple and he heard all these monks singing. And in Kesa Kudoku or Denhe, I don't remember exactly where, he says that he was very, very touched by that song. So when you finish singing you might bow and then you will touch your forehead with the Rakusu once, open it up, open it up making making clear that the written side is facing you and then you might just put it to your lips once and three times here for Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, for the three bodies of the Buddha whatever, and the number three is important in our practice for Kai, Jo, He, precept, wisdom and um, <coughs> practice and then you put it on your shoulder make sure that it's not, it doesn't end up this way or that way make sure that it's absolutely neatly put I mean we're not into fashion it's not a wardrobe thing, but uh, attention has to be paid to the back as well as to the front. Important. Just like when you sew, you have to make things as beautiful front and back. So, you wear it loose and when you want to take it off, you take it off and you reverse the procedure three times, once, and fold it. Now the way to fold the Rakusu is a bit um, specific. I shall try to, to show you. There are two ways. One is with a silk outside, and this is a traditional way. You fold it this way, and generally your name is on this left side, and you drop, you drop, ah, now you can see, you drop this there, and you fold it again 
and you get that nice fold. But some people might prefer, and why not, might prefer to fold it with the silk inside to protect the silk. And you can do exactly the same. Doesn't really matter. But the traditional way is always with the silk out. The silk out and the silk out like this and then like that. That's from your viewpoint. Okay? That's it basically. Um, when I finish shooting and uh, getting this Kesa lesson uh, video course ready, I will also demonstrate how to put a Kesa on and how to take it off because it's a very complicated procedure and it's a bit different from Nichijima uh, Roshi uh, way of putting an Okesa on YouTube because the Nyohe is not the Soto Kesa, of course. Take care, have a great life, and uh, thank you for listening to a very big fool like me. Bye bye.